UK race three of the Kipco Championship day here at Ascot. There's a one mile four full and group one for the girls. So number one, three round for Hans Jones. Two, Gravity Joshua Southern. Three, Lee Make for Del Hinton. Four, Lift Up for Hilltop. Five, Sky Blue Knights Darren Thompson. Six, So Popper for Molly at Surfer. Seven, Anne of Troy for Paul Rhodes. Eight is Budgie Smuggler for Django. Nine is End of Now for Hilltop. Ten is Main Just Boogie for Dan Hughes. Eleven, Miss Barron for Molly at Surfer. Twelve, Salem's Lot for Joshua Sutherland. Thirteen is Smash It Pumpkin for David Robertson. Fourteen is Winter Warrior for Jim Murray. They're in the gates. The rain's coming down. And they're racing. I'll wait for them to settle down as they go through the first furlong here. Right, we're going to be out and out uh, front runners, but Soap Hopper has come out from a slightly wider draw right over towards the fence. And it's got a couple of lengths advantage from Winter Warrior. And we've got Lift Up and Free Round in the green silks. Out wide in the pink is Lee Meg. Just on the inside of that is Sky Blue Knights. The grey up against the fence is Lift Up. I think well, it might be end of now. Very hard to tell. And half a length back to Salem's Lot. The other one in those mid-pack there was Anne of Troy and Budgie Smuggler. And then we've got a length or so back to Gravity. Miss Barron's through by main just booking smashing pumpkin so through the first half mile and it's so proper the stool leads us by about three to move up to second now is free round out wide is Anne of Troy and sky blue knights the others are all still covered up still so proper that leads them in the rain leads by about four to free round and Anne of Troy between those Sky Blue Knights and Winter Warriors made a little bit of ground up now. Lift up still there. Salem's like out wide budgie smuggler. And a length back to gravity. And then Miss Barron's Lee Meg main just booking and smashing pumpkin. As we come down to the five furlongs. It's so proper that still leads from Anne, Anne of Troy out wide. Sky Blue Knights tracking them. Then we've got Lift Up and Salem's Lot closer to the fence. Wider of all is, uh, I'm sorry, Salem's Lot's out wide. It's the Greys. Gravity's pushed through now. Budgie Smuggler out wide. As we get down to half a mile from home, it's Anne of Troy and Soap Opera. The two Greys of Lift Up and End of Now are still sitting honestly. Budgie Smuggler out wide. So as you get down to three and a half, it's Soap Opera. Anne of Troy, Winter Warrior Lift up end of now free round doesn't look like he's got a lot left gravity pushing through and they take on the leader now and it's winter warrior that just cruises on side with two and a half furlongs left to run so proper fighting back along the round a wide outside is gravity so it's these three starting to pull away from the rest running on well now is end of now but up front is gravity that noses in front with a furlong and a half to go gravity leads from winter warrior so proper and of troy trying to find some more sky blue knights as they get down to a furlong it's gravity but here they come and it's Anne of troy that's pushing through alongside with Winter Warrior against the fences, end of now, Anne of Troy, end of now, end of now, just pulls away from everything else and takes a length and a half out of everybody. Easy win there for John Morgan. Is that three in a row for him? Oh no, Django won the first. One of the last two is a double for John Morgan. Well done with end of now. Second was Winter Warrior for Jim Murray. Third was Anne of Troy for, ooh, go back for Anne. Man of Troy for Paul Rhodes. Fourth was lift up for Hilltop. And fifth was Sky Blue Knights for Darren Thompson. So the 382nd race goes to a top five.